Hey, what's up, y'all? We have some stuff to talk about today. I ain't even gonna hold you. First, we have to chat about Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith and Alcina. What in the world are they talking about? When I listen to them trying to explain themselves, they sound like a young girl trying to twist and turn their way out of a punishment by fabricating the best story possible to get them out of trouble. But this time, it's their reputation that's on the line. Who cares if y'all was knowingly cheating on each other? Y'all rich. Y'all deserve a little more affection from someone else. If that's what y'all want. I am perfectly fine with that. Hell, I'm actually taking notes. But yeah, it seems like every time they are confronted with the question, do they have an open relationship, they get to dodging the hell out of it without even dodging. That's that A1 media training that they got. Will is allowed to mess with other women on the side, and Jada is allowed to mess with other men on the side only if they agree. Whatever keeps the marriage alive, you feel me? Moving on. Tiana Taylor, most of you know her by her super ghetto roles such as The Trap with Mike Epps and T.I., Medea's Big Happy Family, Coming to America 2, and a plethora of other movies. She's been doing her thing with her fit, thick self, but unfortunately she is taken, and she is pregnant by The Taker. But this time, she is taking another route with the pregnancy. She is actually going to have Erica Badu be the midwife. She had her first daughter, Eamon, on her bathroom floor, so this should be a gigantic step up from that. She said she meditates, and Erica has been very influential in her career, and that she would love for her to be her midwife. Well, get it in there, ma. If you can push your baby out on your bathroom floor, you can do anything. Coming to America 2 is set to release in December, right around the holidays. Yes, that's going to be a wonderful way to end this nightmare of 2020. Not the same director as before, John Landis, who did a perfect job with Coming to America 1, may I add. But they are bringing in director Craig Brewer, the guy who did Hustle and Flow and Black Snake Moan, and a few others. He also directed Donomite It's My Name, starring Eddie Murphy. Eddie must have had a good time doing Dolomite. To bring him back for an epic film like Coming to America 2, Eddie will be playing Hakeem as expected and Lisa's character will also be the same. Same goes for the father for Lisa and Eddie. I personally think that they are going to have kids and one of them is going to want to come to America and find their queen or king just like Hakeem did in Coming to America 1. A couple of new faces that we will be blessed with is Wesley Snipes, Tracy Morgan, Tiana Taylor, and much, much more. I cannot wait. This is not a movie you will want to bootleg or anything. This is going to be a priceless piece of work. I pray that the world doesn't end until after I've seen Coming to America 2. Thanks. Amen. And last but not least, whatever you like most PS4 or Xbox Series X, we gamers are in for a little big surprise. Because of the new tech including ray tracing and smarter hard drives and so forth, gaming developers have been driven to create more elaborate detailed games on top of more intricate engines. With that being said, they are going to have to charge us more for the games such as NBA 2K, Call of Duty, Final Fantasy, and much much more. The amount of work that goes into the creation of these games are immense, therefore the higher pricing are understandable. You want better, I guess you have to pay more. So we're looking to pay a little extra for the new gen games. I promise you it will be worth it. Well, I think that'll be it for the news today. So stay safe out there and don't forget to wear two masks when you go into Walmart. I'm telling you, man. Peace.